Hello guys, who here back with another video. This time around we are doing a dragons and more dragons and more dragons. I'm basically uh, ca categorizing or uh, guiding you through every single dragon there is in Trove. So if you watched uh, this video or this in or if you watched one of these videos before, uh, the intro is going to be the same for each and every single video. I'm going to use the same one for each one so I can explain to the people that do click a random one and not just the first one that, uh, you know, this is the same and kind of explaining how it goes so if you've seen this intro you can click ahead in the description there is uh links to a bunch of stuff but also to uh timestamps so you can get to whatever dragon you are looking for if you just want to uh, skip ahead but if you haven't watched this intro i suggest you uh, do so uh, there's not going to be a lot of uh, talking or a lot of entering into this but there is a little bit explaining why i didn't put all the dragons into the same video it's because then over time uh, trove introduces new and new dragons and those dragons uh, if i make one big video uh, i can't put all those so i have to make a different one so i, I, su I su decided that i wanted to do uh, a, a, at least three dragons in a video, maybe more up to like seven or something like some that made sense to put together. Uh, so some of the videos are a little bit longer than others, some are a little bit shorter, uh, but they are categorizing all of them. So when they introduce new dragons, as they did uh, not too recently, they introduced new three new dragons. Those three new dragons, you know, is just going to end up in the playlist that is on the channel. So it's just, you know, go through all of them as it is. It is says in the title which ones is what and also in the description, of course. So you can kind of can figure out which dragons you are looking for. So... Uh, that's basically the intro, so there's not really much more to say. That was just explaining why I did it uh, like I did it and not in one big video as that there's a lot of dragons out there. And yeah, so that was the intro. Now we can start uh, going into the dragons. Enjoy. So this next dragon is the pinata dragon, as I call it, because you get the egg you need from it very rarely from pinatas. Any pinata there is out there, you can obtain this. Of course, you can also obtain it on the uh, marketplace if you just want to buy it there. But other than that, it's just destroying and randomly getting this uh, egg from any pinata there is out there so uh, if you want to uh, craft it you go to uh, hashtag sorry there you go there you see there is the pinata dragon and all you need is a dragon uh, some dragon coins and some flux and that the dormant pinata dragon egg and as you can see this egg can obtain very from pinatas and this is pinatas so just there's different pinatas out there but i'm pretty sure you can get them from all of them i've thrown down a lot of the the ones you get for just completing your star bar and i've gotten some there so it is definitely from there as well but i think that might be uh, i feel like that might be a bigger chance from the uh party animals but i'm i don't think there is i don't think you should go out spending any money on those just throw down your uh, you know regular pinatas and at by time you're gonna get it and i don't think it's actually pretty expensive as all at all but yeah that is the uh, pinata dragon and we can move on to the next dragon so this next dragon is the shadow cash dragon or a dark dragon at least uh, you obtain this egg from uh, shadow caches so we talked about shadow caches in other videos and stuff like that but i'll explain shadow caches as well so in the delve you can get shadow shards and those shadow shards you can uh, they look like small purple shards and those shards you can uh, create uh, shadow caches and then you can by going into the uh, shadow tower lobby there's a shadowy market there you can craft them it's the very first thing you craft these shadow shards into shadow caches you open the shadow caches and there there's a chance of getting the egg there you can also obtain both the shadow shards the shadow caches and the egg on the marketplace if you feel like doing so but other than that uh, if you want to craft it you go to hatched eggs or hatched dragons and you go into here and as you can see you need uh, dragon coins you need flux and you need the shadow shards that we talked about before as you can see uh, there's a crafting material found in the delves as I said and then you can find this in the shadow caches there's a few other dragons that I talked about er earlier in other videos and if you're watching like one by one uh, we talked about uh, shadow caches also in containing other dragons in that but you can you can you can find this on the marketplace if you want to do so the, the egg it itself and yeah that was the i guess other shadow cache uh mount uh, or dragon and uh, we can move on to the next one
All right, so this next dragon is one of my favorite. It is the Lego dragon. And of course it's not named the Lego dragon because of some copyright, right? But as you can see, yeah, it is a Lego dragon. <laughs> There's another one in the background there. Anyways, to craft this dragon, all you have to do is open adventure boxes. And adventure boxes is something you get randomly when you do dungeons in regular worlds, like in Prime Worlds or anywhere. Basically, you have probably seen them. They're red boxes with some yellow uh, edges and stuff like that. And those can contain these. Any of them can contain the eggs. And you can also get the adventure boxes on the marketplace, but you can also get the eggs themselves on the marketplace if you want to do so. But if you want to craft it, all you have to do, of course, is to go to the Dragon Crucible, go under Fragment Dragons, and here you got the uh, dragon. And all you need is some dragon coins. And this one is not containing or not is not using Flux, which many of them others do. But yeah, you got your dragon coins, of course, and it's only 200 on the plus sign. Uh, you need some uh, red uh, primordial, uh, not primordial, sorry, red uh, blocks, some blue blocks, and some green boxes uh, blocks. And these can also buy on the marketplace if you don't want to go out and use some bombs and and get yourselves these some of these blocks. But here you got the, as you can see, the uh, block dragon fragments. They're actually called, uh, I call them eggs, but they are basically fragments. But you need five of them. Um, yeah, so just five of them, and then like you can say, you can buy them on the marketplace if you want to do so. Uh, I usually I don't think they're very expensive, but yeah, you do need five of them to do so. You do also need a thousand of uh, ten thousand, sorry, or nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine of all the uh, other blocks. But yeah, one of my favorite uh, dragons for sure, and pretty easy to obtain as well. And many of the, why I said the two hundred uh, coins is because many of the dragons cost three hundred. There's usually the three hundred mark that they cost for dragon coins. But anyways, that's enough about the dragon, uh, the Lego dragon. Let's move on to the next one. So for this dragon, you have to get some fragments of wonder, and the fragments wonder you get from the trove of wonders. And the trove wonder boxes is of course something you get in the treasure biome, treasure island biomes. You know the golden ships there, so you can buy them for ten thousand flux, or you can buy the boxes from uh, from the marketplace if you want to do so. You can also buy the fragments from the you know. Uh, what's it called um, from the marketplace and they maybe be cheaper than just buying troll wonders because it, they're usually a little bit more expensive and you need 5,000 of these fragments to uh, go to the NPC and then buy the egg from him so there's not really much to it other you just keep opening uh, troll wonders or buy the fragments on the marketplace or buy troll wonders on the marketplace uh, and you need 5,000 and I can show you guys right here in my inventory what they look like down here these are the fragments of wonder and as you can see right here you can go out and buy some you can also buy some other stuff from from it but it you know 5000 is what you're going to need for that so uh, other than that yeah the dragon is under hatched right here uh, you need your 300 uh, dragon coins you need your flux 25000 of that and of course the egg as well and the weaving weavers of wonders that's the npc's name in the treasure islands so radiance charge these you get from the uh, dark heart dungeons in the sky realm so you go to here the rain uh, rain ruins and you find there's different dungeons and basically you start the dungeon you run around and use your abilities or your mount and stuff like that and try to uh farm these or grind these out on the there. there's no monsters or anything like that it's just a bunch of uh, shards that uh, do spawn in there and these radiance shards can also of course be bought on the marketplace if you just want to do so they're pretty common and very um or they're very common i would say and then so they're not very inexpensive you need two thousand of those so very inexpensive as that um so that's a dragon there's not much more to do it to do it and to get yourself some uh, fragments of wonder is probably going to be the hardest part getting 5,000 of those and then you just have to find the NBC by the egg and that's that's basically it that is this dragon here so that's it